what's up YouTube um, just doing a quick video as I step on my Hell Pro straps just doing a quick video on the Bauer 1S skates um, just kind of wanted to give my thoughts on them um, first um, I'll just start by saying I've been on skates since I was four years old <clears throat> um, I played goalie when I was younger I played goalie in mites um, and then I skated out, I think, the rest of my youth hockey career. You know, I would sub from time to time, um, but I really didn't start playing goalie again, um, until after high school. Um, but, I mean, I've had, you know, now, like, 10, I'm 30, I'll be 32. I've had almost 10 years playing goalie. It's, it's something I take, you know, pretty seriously. I try to play a really modern technique. You know, I'm not the guy out there that's just flopping around like a fish. You know, I really try to play a, um, you know, really strict modern butterfly style. Um, <clears throat> but uh, anyways, these skates are amazing. Uh, when I first used them, I did not like them. Um, but by the second skate, I started to like them, and now they're a game changer. Um, everybody talks about the weight, which they are light. Everybody talks about the attack angle because of the runner and not having a cowling, which is cool. Um, but for me, what makes this skate so awesome and uh, what makes this skate, you know, uh, the reason I'm not buying VHs is the curve composite now I've been using curve composite for a while with my player skates I like a really stiff skate you know I like a composite outsole um, I like a composite quarter package um, I'm a bigger guy but I'm, I'm also you know I'm a very aggressive skater whether it's skating out or playing goalie like uh, despite my weight you know I, I really um, you know, really kind of turn sharply, have a really wide stance. Um, you know, I'm really active with slides and stops and recoveries and just, um, for me, the problem I was having with my grabs is my grabs were too soft. Now, some of you may not have this problem. I'm just speaking of myself personally. Uh, I'm probably a lot heavier than most of you, um, but I mean, this boot, this is the Graf 9035, this was the top dog, um, I mean the entire boot is just very, very soft, um, and then you add on step steel to make, you know, to lift the skate even more off the ice, and that just adds more pressure to the boot. Um, the higher up you are and the more you're leading, um, the more it's it's going to, the more the, the softer your boot is going to feel. It's just physics. Um, because it's just putting more stress on the boot the higher it is. Uh, so they were soft before I had uh, the step steel. Adding the step steel, which is just so much taller, and this isn't even the extreme, um, but it was a lot taller than the stock graph steel. Um, it was just too soft for me. Um, as you can see right there, I mean, the boot is kind of curving out, and that's where it's flexing, uh, and that's where it shouldn't be flexing. Um, <clears throat> When I was doing stops or, you know, when I was doing T pushes to the top of the crease on my lead leg and then stopping, um, I felt like the boot was giving, you know, it was flexing on me. Um, it wasn't offering me enough support. Um, it caused me to feel uh, unbalanced. Um, it just, my, my stops weren't as crisp. Um, they talk about energy transfer. Um, Bauer's big on energy transfer. You know, they want, when you make that movement with your foot and your leg to stop, they want that directly going through the boot 
through the outsole, into the blade, into the ice, without the boot absorbing your energy. It sounds like a marketing gimmick, but it's true. Um, my skates are absolutely absorbing uh, some of the energy. Um, that's why when I switch to the 1S's, um, I mean, it was an instant game changer. It's a very stiff boot. I mean, it's curved composite. I mean, it has some flex. You know, like, I can flex it a little bit. But, like, down here, like, it's a very, very stiff boot. And I absolutely love it. Because when you're doing a T-push on that lead leg, and you're going to make the push, like, nothing in this boot is flexing. You know, like, what you want your foot to do, the skate is going to do. You know, the skate isn't going to stretch and flex um, from the pressure of your leg. You know, the, the skate is strong enough to withhold that push or stop or cut. Um, you know, whether you're skating backwards, just every aspect. Um, it does take a little getting used to. You know, you, you do want some flex. Um... You know, or it can feel, it can almost do the opposite, make you feel a little uncomfortable and a little off balance. The same way not enough support can, um, but I absolutely love them. Um, <clears throat> now, again, I'm heavier than most people probably watching this video. I'm a bigger guy. Uh, so maybe if you have the graph 9035s, it's not really an issue for you. Um, if it's not, then maybe you should just continue using your graphs because I mean that's really the only issue I had with these if you don't feel like your your graph skate is uh, too soft then I would probably keep using them I mean it's a very great skate um, it's obviously heavier um, but um, it's not something I notice on the ice you know maybe maybe if they did like a study and uh, you know, it would be impossible to uh, to do a study, um, but hi but hypothetically, if you could do a, a scientific study that was controlled, and I exerted the same amount of energy in this skate, and then in this skate, and they could tell you how much you know energy was saved by me using a lighter skate, you know, maybe you would see a um, a difference. But uh, it's not something where it's like, oh my god, I have so much more energy now thanks to the 1S. That's not really it for me. Um, I feel it when I'm carrying my bag. Um, I actually feel that more than uh, um, actually skating on the ice. I mean, when I'm playing, I'm just, I'm into it. I, I, I don't feel weight. I just, I'm in the zone. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, that's... That's not really a, a game changer. Um, you know, you can order the step steel to kind of lift your um, lift your skid off the ice to get a better attack angle, you know, to help on your pushes. Um, you know, you could order the step steel. Um, this step steel is absolutely amazing. This is the step steel black. It's $150. Um, it has like a carbon coating on it. That's why it's black. It's not just for looks. Um, it's absolutely fucking amazing. Uh, the stock graph steel sucked. It barely held an edge. Um, it was very soft, but this steel is so hard. I've had so many people sharpen my skates, and they're like, oh my god, like what the fuck is this stuff? Um, this is, it pays for itself. The money you save on sharpenings, on not having to sharpen your skates, will pay for these uh, runners. Um, I, I'm very picky about sharp skates. I like mine three eights and, uh, I mean, this will hold a three eights very sharp. This will hold an edge for mm, three, three skates. Um, it's usable at four, five, six. Whereas in the past, um, you know, it was like at one skate, one skate and my skates felt dull. Um. So these are absolutely amazing. Like I said, you get the extra height. It's also just such a better quality steel. Uh, I can't.
can't say enough good things about Step Steel. Unfortunately, they don't have it for Bauer. Um, there is a company called Tydan, T-Y-D-A-N, though. Um, check them out on GGSU on Facebook. Uh, there's a couple reps on there you could order, order from. Um, <clears throat> so I might eventually get those for my Bauer skates because the, the steel on those, it's better than the graphs, but it's, it's not great as far as holding an edge. Um, but yeah, like I said, you can do that, and then you can also cut out the cowling um, just to get a better attack and go. Now, I know people are going to make fun of me for my cut job. I didn't do it. Um, I don't have any problems with it, though. But if you're, if you're having problems with your cowling, um, you know, lifting your blade off the ice, just cut that piece out. A lot of people are doing that. Uh, you know, there's no issues with uh, protection, or I don't feel like my foot is protruding now because I don't have the plastic uh, supporting it. Um, so yeah, I mean, you could do that. It's very comfortable. I didn't even have to bake these. Um, I didn't bake my one essays either. I feel like baking is overrated. I know some people are gonna say, "Oh, you're you're nuts." I baked my blah blah blah, and they felt so much better. I. I I've been playing for 20 years, and I just think it's uh, a little overrated. So I don't bake my skates. I just wear them. Uh, but yeah, again, this is um, a great skate because of the stiffness. Uh, yeah, it's a little pricey. I was lucky. I found these on GGSU um, for $500. 500 shipped I paid for these. Um the guy that sold me these, a uh, really nice dude, but he didn't take them out of his bag, so they had that like nasty fucking cat piss smell when I got them. So I wasn't too pumped on that. Uh, I had to wash them, um, and I was concerned, because obviously if you just never air your gear out, your skates are going to fall apart. Uh, but they look pretty good so far. Um, so yeah, I couldn't be more pumped on these. They're, they're a very comfortable skate. Uh, they're, they're kind of a thin tongue. So it's kind of a pain in the ass to tie these. I mean, you really have to take your time tying your skates. Um, you know, if you tie the bottom too tight, you're gonna get that foot pain. Um, but if you don't tie the top tight enough, because this is a shorter skate than most, and because this part doesn't extend as much as the graphs for me, I mean, as you can see with the graphs, it goes up much higher and it extends out further. So my ankle feels more supported, you know, when I'm leaning. This is shorter, and like I'm saying, this goes further back. So I feel more exposed. So you really have to, you really have to crank the top three or four eyelets pretty tight and kind of leave the bottom ones loose, at least for me, um, to feel snug in these skates. If not, it, it feels like absolute shit. Um, but that's basically it, um, as you can see, um, again, this is a much smaller profile skate, it's shorter, um, it doesn't extend out as, as much, it's a thinner tongue, and then you look at the graph, the graph tongue is like ridiculously thick, um, it's a much higher skate, um, and it extends out further. Um, uh, that's basically it. Um, the last thing I'll touch on is three millimeter. Um, this is obviously a three millimeter runner. Um, people have said they don't notice a difference switching from four to three, and I just find that baffling. Uh, I I can't believe that. I, I wonder if those people are new to hockey. If you're one of those people that can tell the difference and you're not new to hockey, my apologies. I don't mean to offend you. But to me, it's, it's absolutely noticeable. Um, you definitely feel more agile. Um, not so much in your, your basic, you know, shuffles. Um, yeah, I guess even your shuffles you do. Um, but more just like if you were to... You know, somebody dumps the puck in and you have to skate out of your net. Um, you, you feel more agile in the three millimeter. Um, you know, sometimes with goalie skates, you know, when you're trying to make a really sharp turn, it kind of feels like you're in skis, you know. You've really got to kind of widen that turn. And with the three millimeter, 
like I don't even have my profile. You know, I have a very I just have the stock radius, whatever this is. Uh, it's a very flat radius uh, or long. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> But I can just feel like I can make quicker turns. You know, if I'm going out to play the puck, uh, I can feel like I can, I can make quicker turns. Um, I haven't had any problems like with pushes, uh, shuffles, T pushes to stops, power slides. Um, you know, I get my skates sharpened very sharp. Um, as long as they're sharp, the 30 millimeter hasn't really been an issue. I was kind of concerned that. Uh, I was kind of concerned that, uh, oh, I think we might have a little blade trauma. I was kind of concerned that uh, that would be an issue, um, <clears throat> but I, I haven't had any issues. I mean, if anything, I'd, I'd say it's a plus, honestly. It's it's definitely hard to get used to, but uh, once you get used to, I think you'll like it. So if you're somebody trying these skates, don't, don't try them at a game. Don't try them pick up hockey with a fucking really fast group. Go to a stick and block and just fuck around in the corner, just work on pushes, and if you hate them, try them again, because I didn't like these the first time, and I'm absolutely loving them now, and I'm actually even considering selling my graphs. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, sorry if I missed anything, just shoot me a question, um, I'll do my best to answer it. Um, it's a very comfortable skate, uh, again, very stiff. Uh, I would say if, if you're new to goaltending, I don't know if you'd like this skate. Um, with the boot being so stiff, you want to have your mechanics down or it's going to be hard to learn. Um, you know, when you're learning T pushes and just learning how to skate in general, um, you want a skate that's a little forgiving, in my opinion. Um, I don't know if, if you would like this if you're new to hockey. Um, I wouldn't go out and just, I mean, pro skates are made for, you know, elite level skaters. Uh, if you're not an elite skater, I, I think it's almost going to do more bad than good. Because, uh, like I said, I mean, you just... When, when you're learning how to skate, you want like a little forgiveness, um, you know what I mean? Just to feel comfortable, just to, just to kind of like, just to kind of learn your edges and, and this is not a skate to learn your edges. This is a skate built for pure performance. Um, I also wouldn't get the 170s either. I mean, the 190s just a stiff, so I don't know if you're going to like that, but, uh, the 170 is like mush. I mean, it was like softer than my grabs. I went to a goalie monkey and I felt one in the store and it was like, it's like squeezing a t-shirt. Um, so, I mean, unless you're like, you know, 150 pounds, uh, but it, if you're, if you're, you know, any, if you're a decent sized guy, I, I would not recommend it. If you're a kid, go for it, try it. Um, you know, I know kids that wear them that are, going to be playing high school, but they're, they're really small, you know, they're five, seven, 140 pounds, then the softness might not be such an issue because they're, they're so small, but, um, you know, if, if you're, if you're a grown man and you're up your leader, you're watching this, uh, I wouldn't go 170s then, I would, uh, just try something else. Um, that's it. I'm sorry if, if you've been looking for an issue. I know when I watch videos and I'm trying to buy a piece of gear and I'm just looking for one thing I need to know and the motherfucker doesn't address that issue. I want to fucking smack him through the camera. So uh, if I didn't address that, I'm sorry. Um, I tried to. Oh, toe cap. No problems. Not having a cowling protection. No problems. Uh, so maybe that was the thing you were looking for. No protection problems. I've taken shots. You're fine. Um, but that's it. Any questions, hit me up. Thanks for watching. Go Habs, go.